Hi, my name's Emily. I'm a self-taught sewist and fabric designer. And today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little machine cover. It's a very easy pattern to follow. Um, I decided to quilt my fabric. That is completely optional. Otherwise, it's just made up of three pieces of fabric. Um, using measurements off your sewing machines, it'll fit any machine that you have and you can use it for any cover of anything, really. So yeah, follow along. Um, I hope you enjoy my first sewing tutorial. So firstly, we're going to measure our machine, making sure we're getting the widest points of the machine. So we're going to be drafting up like a box shape to cover. Um, I'm usually a little bit more generous, but you can be as precise as you'd like. And then I'm going to fully draft up what that looks like just to give me a visual representation and then pop in all of those measurements around the different areas. So that way I can see exactly what pattern pieces I need for this project. With everything laid out, I can see exactly the size of fabric that I need. Um, and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually open it up so I can see it on a flat lay. And here I've popped the top, um, the front and the back into one panel and then the two sides in another panel. I'll add some seam allowance and there are pattern pieces. I've got my sewing machine cover pattern here all drafted up. So what I'm going to do is the front, the top and the back piece, that's all going to be one continuous piece. So I've laid that out here with all the measurements. Now these measurements don't include seam allowance, so you want to add another, you know, one and a half, one centimetres on each side. So that way you've got a seam allowance or just make your measurements a bit more generous when you're measuring up. So for that, I've actually had these quilt um, pieces which I've quilted for ages um, using all fabric that I've designed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to piece this all together, see how much space I can get with this, um, and then kind of fill in the black with other scraps and bits and pieces. Um, if you are loving quilting and you're like, yes, I want to give that a go, this is just a star quilt block. Um, it's what I I just learned to do quilting on but it looks really cute and it's a great way to use up little scraps. So I'm going to assemble that all and show you what that looks like. Okay now that I've got my one long piece for my measurements and then the two side pieces I'm ready to pin them all together so I've pressed these ready to go and I think this actually would be quite a quick project if I hadn't decided <laughs> to you know quilt this use these quilted pieces and attach everything together but I'm glad I did because it does look quite cool so now I'm going to show you how to pin that all together right, so I've got my pins here these are honestly the best pins if you've never used these before so what I'm going to do is pop we're going to work on the outside so we're going to sew everything up on the um, on the inside out and then when we flip it all together then it's all good so on each long side of your beautiful um, fabric choice then you're going to pin each side so I'm going to do that just with these and then you'll see it come together even when you're just pinning it so a little thing that I'll say here when you come to the corners might actually be easier to round the corners off slightly when you're sewing so that way it will have a nice little soft edge but also then you won't get like a super little boxy bit but up to you if you want a crisp corner by all means and then I'm just going to continue like this so as you can see that's coming together so I'm going to do both sides like this and then it will be pretty much ready to sew. I have this all pinned and as you can see it's kind of looking like an inside out box there. So now I'm going to go to the machine and just sew all around these edges um, and then when we turn it inside out it's going to be looking pretty cool. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, now before I turn this inside out, I'm just gonna to go to the corners and kind of snip those um, to make it a bit smoother when we do, and also get rid of any like excess bits, which, which don't really need to be there. All right, so we've turned it inside out and we're almost ready to pop it on our machine and it's looking really good so far. But what I need to do is kind of even up these edges here. So I'm just gonna trim and kind of get those in and then I'm gonna hem and just do a single hem towards the back. So that way the base looks really neat. But overall, I'm super excited with how this is looking. Okay, so this is what the hem is looking like. So I'm pretty happy. With that, now I'm just going to trim up all the bits and pieces, give it a steam before we try it on the machine. Now I'm going to try it on the machine. Moment of truth. This looks so cute. Overall, I'm so happy with how this project went. Um, I drafted this pattern completely from scratch using some simple measurements which could be used anytime. Um, I'm glad I decided to use up these quilted squares that I had in my stash because I think it looks really effective and it makes a really nice um, piece for my sewing nook so that way I can come in um, and feel really inspired by this beautiful piece in here, although it might make me not want to sew, which is absolutely fine. Um, but yeah, really easy process to follow. You can use any fabrics. Um, if you're someone that loves quilting, yes, it lends itself really well to quilted fabrics as well. But I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and this was such a fun little project to make. Um, all the links are below. Um, please do subscribe and all the likes if you have enjoyed this because I'd love to do more sewing content for you to teach people how to sew.